I'm Sheila Brummer with Siouxland Public Media News. The Siouxland Sleepout takes place the first Friday in November, a way to bring awareness and at the same time raise money to help the homeless in the community, a tradition dating back to 2005. Sarah Johnson is with Hope Street of Siouxland, one of the organizations taking part in the event tonight at Sioux City's Cone Park. I used to be the person that said they just need to get a job. But now I'm that person who can look at some of those deeper issues. Johnson is the program director for Hope Street of Siouxland, a sober living home in Sioux City that opened in 2019 to help men suffering from hopelessness, addiction, and mental illness. With the help of the sleep out, we really um, can use that money for operational costs, for, you know, when an individual comes in, they need hygiene products, towels, uh, shoes, clothing, food. The Siouxland Sleep Out says there are around 250 to 300 homeless people on any given night in the metro area. But Johnson says that number is likely higher, which makes the gathering even more important. This is an opportunity for the community to see what can happen and what changes can be made um, for people when money is donated to the agencies and to fundraisers like the Siouxland Sleepout versus giving that money to the panhandlers on the street. Participants in the Sleepout can build their own shelter, pitch a tent to spend the night at Cone Park if they choose. The event that starts at 5 p.m. also includes a food competition, live auction, and music by local band Ultraviolet Fever. For Siouxland Public Media News, I'm Sheila Brummer.